Good afternoon. I uh, uh, to take you just real quickly and uh, say to you, if you've thought you've had a diverse day, uh, let me help you understand. At 11 o'clock this morning, I was doing a funeral in Harrison County. Uh, and in about just over two hours, I'm to be speaking to the graduating class of Buchanan Upshur High School in Upshur County. And in between, I uh, ran to Charleston for a consumer law summit. So uh, I, I wanted to take just a moment, this is more commercial than, uh, than a formatted part of the program, to offer our thanks uh, to uh, Jonathan and to Damon and to the Consumer Law Centers for allowing access to justice uh, to uh, collaborate with them in this effort, and in particular to our stakeholder groups who have participated in today or will be participating here in the coming presentations. My thanks for your being here. The work you do uh, is invaluable to uh, the citizens of the state of West Virginia, and access to justice is here uh, in an attempt to be as supportive as we possibly can be. I would want to also thank the West Virginia State Bar and uh, the West Virginia University College of Law for uh, being our support groups and the people who help uh, keep us in existence and provide us a place to be. We are the only Access to Justice Commission in the country, as far as we know, that is uh, directly linked to a law school. And uh, we are very thankful for that. Not only are we uh, provided space, but our chair is the dean of the law school. And uh, so we, uh, we take a lot of pride in that as well. I would say to you ever so quickly, on the outside of the Supreme Court building in Washington, D.C., are the words equal justice under law. And Justice Lewis Powell said, uh, it is not just captioned. It is perhaps the most inspiring ideal of our society. I want to assure you that the West Virginia Access to Justice Commission is committed to that ideal. We are attempting as best we can to take on barriers of all kind. Recently uh, completed a study with uh, the involvement of WVU Law School students uh, uh, inspecting uh, 35 of our 55 county courthouses around the state and uh, trying to uh, determine uh, just how accessible they are uh, as some, what, uh, 20, 29 years after the passage of the ADA. So um, we are working in, uh, on barriers that are physical in nature, but also we too, like many of you in the room, try to take on barriers to, to the system that are related to age, to education, and of course to poverty. Uh, we look forward in not just this day, but in coming months, of continuing to work with the Consumer Law Center. We are beginning uh, exploration of the possibility for re-entry programs of people who have been incarcerated and trying to combine with them uh, a bit of an education quality on uh, consumer education. And so uh, this is not the only time we are collaborating with the Consumer Law Centers. I just wanted to take just this few moments to assure you that we are alive and well, the West Virginia Access to Justice Commission, and we welcome your involvement. Thank you all.